Hello guys, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. So today guys, we'll be doing a mod review. We'll be doing a mod review on this white truck. Uh, a lot of you guys may remember these trucks. I do remember seeing these on the road back in the day. It's actually a good looking truck. Really nice looking truck. I love the truck. So today the truck's running a Cummins N14 with 18 speed Newton Fuller. Here's the inside of the truck. Now this truck does come with two dash types. Um, uh, there's a, there's a, this is actually a two pack. It, it comes with this white and it comes with a bobble like a 660 bobble in one pack. Uh, the bobble I will be uh, doing another mod, a separate mod review on and uh, doing a live stream with that truck. So let's go on the road. We got some uh, processed animal food. We got 288 miles to go. So let's go on the road. I want to thank everyone to come out and watch the live stream. If you did get to come out and see the stream last night of ETS2. So uh, after the video, I will show you all the compensation options. I, I did this for the live stream, and I will do it again, just in case you guys did not get to see the live stream for this truck. So how many of you guys remember these trucks? I do remember them. I remember seeing them on the road. Rerouting. And I uh, remember, uh, I still see a few of them now. But now I believe it is Western Star, or they used to be called White. I think now, you know, they've changed them to Western Star. say uh, I went, the modern needs to add to this truck is a CB. These trucks, you know, most modern trucks does have a CB and this one does not have an option for that. Maybe in the next version of it that could be added. That would be real nice to see. I mean you can't you can't use it or nothing like that but just you know the habit in the truck. videos back on the channel I've been doing more live streams I had some stuff had come up and uh, kind of uh, I got behind a little bit behind on the channel well, I'm trying to get it caught back up now I'm gonna go ahead and jump out real quick and get a thumbnail of the truck. Go ahead and bring it up. I want to bring, get the side of it where I can see the white. A little bit closer. There we go. We got it. So if 
you have not heard, Rockstar has updated GTA 5 and broke all the mods again. So LSPDFR is not working. Actually, LSPDFR and Red Hook has updated. We're waiting on script hook to update so I can see if I'm going to have to reinstall the whole mod folder again. This is another truck that I like. I, there, the, there was a few modded trucks out there that I like using, and the Freightliner is one of them, the, the Freightliner Classic, and I have to say this is another one that I kind of like this truck. Don't forget, guys, uh, to tune in for uh, SCS. He's going to be doing a live stream. Uh, this is uh, the 2nd, March the 2nd, 2023. They're doing a live stream uh, celebrating 100 years of Kenworth Trucks, uh, a special 100th anniversary edition of the W900 SCS is going to be using. Nineteen miles ago. Now I keep left there. We don't have to stop. We're good. Still got a little bit of lag. Uh, you know, I've, I've looked at everything. I don't really know where it's coming from, and I know it's not my PC. I think it's just a game. keep looking though see if I can find what's called them in. I went through a lot of the mods already.
152 miles ago. So yeah, guys, uh, if anyone watches my LS 54 series, it's going to be down, like I said, probably three weeks at the most until I can get it back on the channel. We do have other content you know, that kind of uh, take place of that, though, so which is good that we can use. think about the white. I, actually, I think it's a nice truck. It needs a little bit more uh, marking brands in here. I like to see a little, maybe a decal on the dash is white, you know. A few uh, little things I'd like to see maybe added, but not bad. And I do apologize for the lag. I'm, I, I don't know where it's coming from. Fifteen miles ago. I do apologize for the lag. I'm going to look at it again and see if I can figure out where the lag, what mod's causing that lag. Because I'm not running any traffic mods at all, so I, I don't know what's causing it.
Yeah, 48 miles to go. the wrong way. Oh well, we're gonna cut across the crash. Why not? Recomputing. Go ahead and roll the window down. Hot day. That side don't work. Okay. So it's on the driver's side uh, has a uh, workable window. Did not know that.
hear that turbo. Keep riding. Go straight on it and then keep right. Keep right and then turn right. Drop. Get ready to turn left. I don't believe I've been here yet. Well, they want it. Okay. All right, so we can't turn around right there, so we're going to have to back it. I wasn't aware of that. I haven't never been here, I don't think. So I, I didn't know that we could turn around up there. up a little bit more. Yard, though. I'm gonna start turning now. All right, let me get out and look. Right, 
we're gonna have to pull up a little bit because I believe it's just right between that uh that trailer right there, the two trailers. So yeah, we're gonna have to or is it no it's okay. Pull up here a little bit. By this track right here. What is this guy doing? Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna be to get it in there. Way close to that truck. Alright, so let's see if we can ride this line right here. Let's see if we can ride this line and try to start backing it from this line. Cut it sharp. All right, we'll pull up right here a little bit. Tough bank right here. Pull up a little bit more. We drove excellent. We drove uh, 
290 miles. Took it seven hours and one minute to get here. We're consuming 39.7 gallons of fuel. Go ahead. This is a new profile, guys. Go ahead and up that. All right. So I'm going to show you the compensation option for this truck now. I did this every modded truck. All right, so we go here. It is a white WS ES cab series truck. It comes with a um, four cab options. You have a day cab. You have a ES cab. You have a T cab. You have a T ES cab, which is the one that we're using right there. You have five chassis options. One, two, three, four, five. You do have a uh, triaxle, which is that right there if you wanted a triaxle for the truck. Classic axle like this. This is a. Um, a WCM uh, axle, like for a day cab, and that's a single axle. So, has quite a bit of options for that. Engines, you you have. I'm using some of the uh, Z mods uh, pack, so a lot of the Z mod stuff is what it, it it does work for that. So, you got a 330 horsepower Z mod engine, goes from 330. 800 horsepower in engine. We got a couple of Cummins uh, Detroit diesels there. Cat engines. Um, Cummins in 14s. Transmissions go from a 10 speed. There's a 9 speed there. 13 speed. 13 speed. All 18s. They've got a, a few 18 speeds here. No, we don't have one with no differential a, um, with a retarder. I uh, got a 15, a couple of 15 speeds. So you have different options for your interior, and uh, this also changes your dash area. This is uh, your 93, the blue, brown, gray, red. So this changes your dash option. It gives you a different uh, look of the dash here. And you get the same options for the, if you change your dash color and stuff like that as far as color goes you have a bunch of different colors uh, you have some pre-made paint schemes to come with the truck your, all your metallics work you can see it works Yeah, you can see that metallic works. And the truck just set it moving. Another metallic that you can do. Like that. So it has plenty of different, and it has some more uh, paint options here, like textures, skin packs, stuff like that. That comes with the truck. You can also change that. If you want to change that to green like that. Is that a green? That's a little bit better. Like what we got on the truck, you can do that. So, all right. So your options for the truck, you have um, this is like bug shields and hood ornaments. You can put a hood ornament if you want that. You have different color bug shields, a chrome shield. You have two types of headlights. You have winter guards for your grill that you can put on the truck. Different, you have three different bumpers. You have a, a chrome flat bumper, a stock bumper, and a stock bumper with fog lights, which is that right there. So 
Should already have fog lights in it. Can't tell. That's where you put your flags. That's flaps. Tire options are this is about normal. Rims. I still have a uh, Viper as a Koa pack. For mine, I have Smarties uh, rim packs and different rim packs. So yours won't look like mine because uh, I have different packs. Um, you have mirror options. You can do your uh, mirror with strobes. You put a strobe on there if you want, like that, on the mirror. You just do a mirror with antenna. Antenna and strobe. Mirror with antenna and antenna and strobe. You also can put a light on the inside, a little light. But you can change your tank. Now this has more options than the one that I'm using. Um, you can change your tank from a 55 gallon, 75 gallon. Let's go ahead and uh, fix the chassis on this truck. Back to the normal. So. All right, we'll go back to this. All right, so yeah, you have your horn auctions here. You can put side lights on the truck. You can put, um, has a 155 gallon tank. You have a painted steps or chrome steps on the truck. It has a, it has a bunch of different exhaust options. You can do one or two. This is your deck plate. Now, I wish the deck plate for the truck went all the way down. I would like to see that option for the truck. Uh, you have two lights in the back. Uh, a lot of different mud flaps. You have the double covers like this. You have the factory. Like that. You have your baskets there if you want to put lights on it like that. So yeah, a ton of options here. You also have um, headache racks for the back. So there's a lot of different things you can do. You can actually add chrome, chrome vents here. Change that over there and add like a toolbox on this side. So on the inside, now on the inside, there's no CB, which is something that I think should be on here on the truck. Um, you do have, uh, it is uh, customized for the uh, the car, the cab accessory pack. You can't put a water there. This changes your uh, dash. You're going to do like an ash color, black plastic, cherry, walnut, um, your cab accessory pack there you don't have a mirror here and maybe they didn't use them back then above the back of the above the passenger side window and also as we noticed the window don't roll down that's another thing on the passenger side you have two options for your doors you can do one without the Small window, or you can do one with the window. A lot of the trucks back in have those small windows, so ton of options back here. So come on, get back to the right thing. So all in all, guys, that's going to be all your options for this truck, for the white. Uh, not a bad truck. It's not a, it's not a deal breaker at all not to use it. I do, uh, I like the truck a lot. It has quite a few engines. It is a good looking truck. So I do recommend 
if you're if you're looking for something that you know it's not very high and um and graphics is gonna make your computer run uh, I think this is gonna be a good truck to use it, it, it does look good and it does have quite a few options you know there's a few little things in there that I think that could be improved and some things could be added but you know not a deal breaker at all from not using it so thank you for watching thank you everyone for being subscribed to the channel I want to get in here and do a video of this white it's actually a GMC white that's who made it, it was a General Motors product so uh, thank you for everyone, like I said, everyone watching, and uh, have a good day.